So one of the newer treatments out is focal treatment of the prostate for prostate cancer. So focal treatment is, as you know, most treatments, surgery, external beam, brachytherapy, proton beam, all of these treatments treat the entire prostate. Now we get into a newer area of medicine, an investigational and, and more alternative type of treatment in medicine, where as opposed to treating the entire prostate, now you are just treating an area of the prostate that has cancer. And, and, and much of this remaining tissue is left untreated. So tissue that is presumed to be non-cancerous is, is left untreated. So it's done in, with, a, again, all these different types of energies are used to deliver energy. So the main types of energy are high intensity focused ultrasound. So ultrasound energy is used to deliver energy to kill certain spots of the, of the cancer and leaving the remaining tissue alone. And there's targeted laser procedure where laser energy is used focally to just treat that area that's cancerous. Now, the, the reason this is available is really because of, of better technology. The three Tesla MRA, MRI allows us to better visualize that prostate. There's high likelihood of, of seeing prostate cancer lesions or seeing suspicious lesions of the prostate. And because of that, focal treatment of the prostate for prostate cancer is, is now something that's, that's potentially able to be done. So when you look at this, focal treatment is not available in every area. Much like proton beam, there are about 30 centers across the United States that offer focal treatment for prostate cancer. And there's different types of focal treatment. Again, there's, there's ultrasound treatment. And ultrasound treatment can be done transrectally, but it also can be done through this urethra. So one of the ways is a probe is placed in the rectum and energy, ultrasound energy again is delivered to target this cancer that's seen on MRI and is seen with ultrasound now that the MRI image is fused into the ultrasound. So it can be done transrectally or it can be done transurethrally. And so through the urethra, energy can be delivered to again, focus just on killing that cancer and leaving the remaining tissue untreated. It's investigational. Data is currently being accrued and many clinical trials are underway. This is something that is not covered right now by insurance. And in, and in fact, if you want this done, one of the biggest things that, that, that causes people to not have this treatment is simply the cost. It's about $30,000 cash to have this treatment done. Um, and when you compare it to other treatments, looking at focal treatment for treatment of prostate cancer, when you simply look at cancer control, we know these focal treatments have less cancer control when you compare it to surgery and typical types of, of prostate cancer radiation. The major benefit of focal treatment is the biggest, the biggest benefit is, is the very low risk of side effects. So, you know, maybe 20 to 30% of patients may have erectile difficulty, worsening erectile difficulty afterwards. 
mainly because the normal tissue is spared. And depending on the location of the tumor, these nerves that sit, again, adjacent to the, to the sides of the prostate, those nerves can be spared. The risk of incontinence with focal treatment is very low. So many men look at focal treatment and they're focused more on side effects and, 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 and still treating the cancer with, with potentially a, uh, an energy that's able to kill cancer. But there's a risk that treating this cancer here alone, it's also, it's also possible that you're missing a small cancer that's still present. Or the energy did not kill all the cancer cells here. So that, that's the downside to focal treatment. So when you look at this, this sounds great. A lot of people are interested in focal treatment for prostate cancer, but again, not everyone is a good candidate for this type of treatment. It's usually reserved for low to intermediate risk prostate cancer. That's usually in one location only. It has to be seen on MRI and it has to be accessible with, with energy, either transrectally or transurethrally. So um, there's other factors that can play a part, but those are the main people that, that if you look at your biopsy and you have a Gleason 9 with 10 out of 12 cores, your cancer is likely way too advanced. This is not something that you likely should consider for your treatment option because your cancer is just too advanced. This is not a treatment that's likely the best treatment for you. Now, another part to focal treatment is the follow-up after focal treatment. Most of these patients are watched very closely. It's almost like an active surveillance routine is done in these patients because of the high failure risk, the high risk that, that the cancer is still growing despite this expensive treatment. So patients will, will have very close monitoring and just like with active surveillance, close PSA monitoring, likely repeat MRI, likely repeat biopsy, and regular exams or digital rectal exam by their urologist. So again, when you, when you choose focal treatment, usually you're choosing very close follow-up with this stuff to, to make sure that your cancer is, is being, one, that it was treated effectively, two, it's not coming back, and three, it's not in some other area that, that you're not aware of.